On first logging into Modix, you may find yourself overwhelmed by all the options that you see in the screen. First you see the Modix news feed and security notices that the Modix team sends out over the internet. And second you will find there is a taskbar with all kinds of options. And there is a tree of resources, elements and files. A lot of buttons to push and a lot of options to choose from. The toolbar at the top of the screen hides lots of functions that you may use in the future in the advanced course of Modix. Apart from all the buttons you can push and all the functions that you can access, there is also a context menu function in Modix Revolution. When I press, for instance, the right button on the resource that's called Home, I will find lots of options context sensitive. So all these things I can do with this resource called Home, for instance, I can view the resource, edit the resource, quickly update the resource, all these things that we will look into later on. So basically, I can use the buttons and I can use the right click context menus of different different options. So, which buttons do we have in the toolbar? In the toolbar you will find Home, which brings you to the screen where we are in right now. We have Site, which are all the options that you can do to the whole site. For instance, you can view the home page in a new window by clicking on View. You can clear a site's cache, which means that all the things that you have and yet stored will be lost. You can remove locks, for instance, if certain users have locks on them or pages have locks on them that people cannot view the pages, you can remove those. You can search for resources. If you have a lot of resources in your, in your website, you can find them with this search option. You can build a new document, for instance, a new web page by clicking on new document. If you want to make, oh, here we go. If you want to make a web link, you can simply click on that. A sim link, which is a more adva advanced uh, link to uh, to a, a URL, we'll not go into that in the basic course, but you can build it as well, or a file-based resource link, for instance, a PDF for a Word document, you can make that as well, or simply log out with the Modix Manager. On the components, you find all the components that have been installed in the system. You can add your own components later on. For instance, this is the commenting component that you can add a comment field to a web page and get a sort of blog-like interaction to your articles. You have security settings. You can add new users to use your system. You can add controls to certain users for instance, you have a page that only the admin user can add edit, or only the main editor can edit, and other pages that anyone can edit. You can make simple s changes to all these settings in access controls. You can make a, a group, which groups certain kinds of resources. You can make forms that you can customize. You can simply delete all the permissions or you can delete all the sessions that have been recorded in the log and completely lock anyone out of the system if you like. These are all security settings. Then you have tools for importing static HTML sources and you can set all kinds of properties with the property sets all advanced options that we will go, go into in the advanced course. Then you can make all kinds of reports, you see all kinds of logs, for instance error logs, or see which actions have been done in the past 24 hours, or you can sh schedule certain uh, updates, and you can do very nice sy system settings, for instance system-wide settings like changing the name of the website, all that kind of things, changing the content times that you use, changing the context of use of the website, all very advanced things, 
and you can add very nice features, new components and new add-ons to the system and actually we will be getting into that later on in this basic course. Then of course you can have your own personal profile that you can set up and you can send and view messages messages to other users that use this system. And of course there is always the support and a very nice one is the wiki that you can launch from this link and basically it opens the Modix wiki which helps you build and develop your Modix website. So third part for the toolbar all these options are basically options that are held, handled and dealt with in the advanced course and a few options have will be dealt with in the basic course. A lot of time will be spent in this tree menu. It's, it will all be, always be displayed on the left hand side of your screen and it has three tabs. The first tab is the resources tab and resources are basically your HTML files, the files that you can, uh, that you can publish on your website. The files that are visible here, the resources that are visible here are the resources that are installed uh, as the demo website is installed in Modix. Uh, I have installed a package uh, which is a, an add-on uh, which, which installs a demonstration site. The demonstration site will uh, I will show you later on um, but the demonstration site is very helpful in learning how to build and manage with Modix. So in the resources tab you can find all the HTML pages that you have published or uh, that you have made and have not yet published and that you can edit and that you can add content to etc. And you can easily build a, a new page by simply clicking on new document or clicking on web and saying I want to make a new document create a document here. So you see you have a button or you have the context menu, the right click menu and say create a document here. We will do so in a, in a short while but first we look at the elements tree. If we click on the elements tab you will get an, a breakdown of all the elements that are used to build a website. Modix uses several sorts of elements and we will get into them shortly. The most important one and the one that we will uh, deal with uh, at first hand is the templates element. If you click on that you can see the templates that are used by the Modix sample site and those are basically only two templates. One template is for the blog posts, people who post blogs and this template is for the website itself. Now if I click on this you will see that Modix loads a page where you can find and edit the source code of the page. And it's a very very simple template, at least at first uh, glance it seems very simple. Um, that is because uh, the actual code, the HTML code that builds the page is put in these things that are called uh, chunks. And chunks are basically blocks of code, HTML code, that are used and reused again and again uh, the different elements of a page. Chunks you can find here under the chunks tab. Now we'll get into templates and chunks and snippets and template variables later on but first we will look at the files tab. Now the files tab is the tab of course where the files are shown. The files that are in the root folder of your website. So this is basically basically the, the file layout of Modix. Modix has assets and the assets are the actual uh, files that are shown on the, web, on the website. Modix has connectors, core and manager. And that's actually the system that runs behind the website. You will not get into this very very much. Basically, this is the the, the domain of the ICT man who uh, installs Modix and and basically um, has to do updates on the Modix system and is not uh, used a lot by editors or the content managers who actually um, deal with the installation of uh, of the website itself. Just to show you how this looks. This is basically assets. This is the, 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 the place where all the 
uh, files are kept that are shown uh, in uh, in uh, in the front end you will not be handling these files anytime soon the only time that you may want to work on on these files is if you have very high level uh, coding uh, to be done and that will not be the objective of this course but it's nice to know that the files can be viewed in the files tab in this course we'll mainly be looking at the elements and at the resources tabs good now that we have a basic basic view of the uh, of the system let's go back to home and we come back in the first page that we saw that when you log into modex in the next lesson we will be looking at uh, adding new um, functions to modex and we will be uh, uh, editing our first page in the demonstration site